All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We have some stuff to talk about. We have the Motorcraft O2 sensor, so that way I can finish data logging this car for Lund once I've replaced the uh, driver's side. We have a good sounding exhaust, and the major issue that was fixed over this past week, actually, earlier this week. The car starts right up. Let it sit for a second. Let the pumps kick on. Such a major headache fixed. And we're just gonna cut it off for this video. So if you're new to the channel, this is a 2001 Coyote Swap Mustang. And disregard the stuff in the trunk. I really put, oh, well, I'm not even gonna take these off. So basically what we had done was this car was having an issue on the ground side right here. It was hooked into right here on the inside of the uh, trunk. And that was not working whatsoever because the car would run for like an hour and then you could cut it off and it would struggle to start. We thought it was the battery. The starter was kind of an issue. It was a shit starter. So I went ahead and replaced that with the SVE high torque from LMR.com one. Um, did that and then it kind of was still the same thing once I had the uh, suspension put on by SM Auto about a month ago. Yes, yeah, so over a month ago, which time has gone by fast. So the update besides that, what we're doing with this car is, let's see. I think I found a silver hood. So I'm gonna keep this hood. I'm gonna get it painted eventually, but I found a hood that I really, really wanna go back to. Uh, it's a little pricey, but stuff like this, they're OE parts, I understand. Not so much, uh, not many out there. The side skirts uh, and the sail panels, the Mach, the Mach 1 sails fell through. Uh, just because the website I read on Reddit that it was, you know, they were kind of scammy. The only payments that they would take is like Zelle, and something else it used to be paypal which was you know when i checked it the first time so i don't know if they updated and changed it or something but uh, a lot of you know i don't want to pay somebody zell or something i think it was like zell and cash app i'm not going to do that and then not receive anything so I always use paypal that's what i use for when people buy stuff from me uh when i sell parts and all that but what we're here to talk about is what we're doing with this what we're going to do with this is i've already ordered the maximum motorsports k member we already have the steed of bumps here kid is sitting in the floor uh floor pan or whatever of the car itself and as like i said disregard the mess it's sitting yeah right to the back side right there so we've already updated the interior over the summer we got the ex exhaust on we got the rear suspension fixed all that stuff is gone we're switching to the Maximum Motorsports uh, K member, which I've just said I ordered. I ordered the control arms, the non-offset ones, because I don't want them to sit forward. Uh, this is not gonna be like a auto auto cross car. Um, I try to say that twice, double air quote. Um, so we're gonna get rid of the Team Z stuff. I don't take this car to the track that much, and I ordered the kit that's for more or less like handling. So I'm gonna go ahead and order also the coilovers. Uh, I just have to figure out if I want to order the coilovers that fit the Coney's because I currently have the Coney yellows on these. They are the adjustable ones, but they have the Bilstein B8s, I think it is, that fit for the other application that Maximum Motorsports has, but that's strictly to that. I want to see, you know, do a little more research which one kind of rides a little smoother. I just want this car to be basically like a street, you know, cool, like daily driven kind of street car, but it's not going to be a daily driver. Obviously, that that ding and an age is over for this car so it's just basically gonna be you know have fun with it take it to like vir or something like that a road course track basically uh but it will still have the ability to go to the drag strip if i want to run a number the only difference is between the chromoly team zk member setup kit with the control arms and their bump steer kit is the maximum motorsports weighs about 20 to 30 more pounds so so that is the only difference and in my opinion, for just like street application, uh, not going to the drag strip really whatsoever, and just having fun with the car, getting on it somewhere in Mexico or something, Maximum Motorsports seems to be the best option. We already have the Maximum Motorsports steering shaft and caster cane plates on this car. 
So I figure, you know, why not just go all out on Maxim Motorsports? The only th the only reason I didn't do the rear is because I believe they don't make the Maxim Motorsports upper rear control arms. So I didn't want to just have the lowers and then like UPR uppers or something. So I just went ahead and did the UPR upper and lowers. There's nothing wrong with that. UPR is one of the best in the uh, in the game. They've been around for years. I went and rep their uh, Team Z sticker, or I wouldn't rep Team Z or UPR on my car if it wasn't good, you know, good shit. Plus, I've been around the car scene long enough in the Mustang scene to know kind of which suspension brands to go with and who will take care of you. So, proven. That's where we're at <clears throat> with this. I'm going to hopefully get that hood. It's going to match its silver and then get this car pretty much all painted during like the winter season because that is the best time to do it i believe it's just too hot out right now and i don't want to scramble to find somebody that can do it during the summer and like i said before in a video where the car just sits and they don't get to it till later kind of like situation with my uh tahoe waiting for the motor to put be put in because it's not that i drive in or anything like that it's just one of those scenarios where it just you know sits and you want to drive it like this would be the idea you know ideal situation for this you know i want to drive it but i'm still waiting like a month later and it's already fall which is a good time to drive these cars obviously but i would just rather hold on to the car till you know i can just shove it into someone's garage or something for them to take care of everything and not have a timeline or time or deadline that i really want to drive it to uh do anything with uh overall this car is coming together uh slowly but surely a lot faster than i uh was anticipating but you know we got the wheels on it this year too which is really good you know we sw swapped two different hoods we're about to do another hopefully like i said the exhaust is on got the well the taillights were on last year or the year before thing but just uh the other thing that i want to address is maybe I, I was thinking maybe i could go oe mock 460 speakers but at that point i might as well just buy some aftermarket speakers like maybe some pioneers or kenwoods or something and update the radio as well so that's in the loop to do that as you know just to have a nice little sound system nothing outrageous no box or something and subs and shit in there i don't really need that in this car when there's barely no room anyways back there with the battery but that's where we're at we're gonna do all this i'm gonna get some quotes and the biggest thing that i want to fix also in this car when i bought it the car already had kind of a messed up radiator cradle. It's not super bad, it's just a little bent. And when the guy that does the metal work and all that was doing the electrical stuff for the battery, I asked if he could take a 